We want this to be an atmosphere where you can just let go and let God have his way. Amen. 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 If this is your first time being here today, we're going to ask our ushers to come forward and pass out these welcome cards. A way that we can connect with you and get our newsletters and wait for us to communicate. If you hadn't already, we ask that you go to our Facebook page and like it. It's Search Greater Love Crystal City. You should be able to pop up and if you like it. And you can watch, it, just watch the service if you're not able to make it here. And we're going to enter into our giving. You may not have time to fill this out now, but before you leave, give it to one of our ushers or readers. But at this time, we want to worship the giving. Say every Sunday, we have different ways that you can give to Greater Love Fellowship. And Said it, and said it again. Everything that we bring up, we receive here, is poured back into the community. We are going a lot for our youth. Uh, we got uh, a youth explosion that's coming up, or a youth experience, as we want to call it, a youth experience that's coming up uh, around Easter, the spring break. We're going to have another fun day that's going to be here. All everything that is brought up is poured back into that. Nothing goes to myself, nothing goes to anybody in here. It's poured back into the community. So God is leading you to sow a seed. We have different ways that you can sow a seed. You can, for our cash out people, we have a greater love we want, the number one that you can give that way. We have PayPal. You can go to our website, greaterlovecrystalcity.com, and click donate. Uh, make checks payable to Greater Love Fellowship as well. So we encourage you to sow it to the fertile ground. Amen. At this time, Gracious God, we bless you. We, are, we, are, we thank you for this opportunity to give poor to the kingdom of God. God, we thank you for every seed that's going to be sown. We thank you for the giving. Help us, Lord God, to give with a cheerful heart. God, we just want to tell you thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 At this time, I ask that you respect to me.
series this month is dealing with tunnel vision. It's blessed me so much that the Lord has led me to write a book called Tunnel Vision. So we are expecting a book to be coming in 2021. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It's been an awesome series talking about tunnel vision. Today we're going to continue and close out this series, Flight 2020. Now, now, I know there are some people in here probably have never flown before. Uh, somebody probably say, you ain't going to ever get me on a plane that you're afraid to fly. But I want you to know that January 1st, 2020, 12 a.m., you started and you got on flight 2020. So, ladies and gentlemen, the captain, the captain uh, has turned on the seat up sign. I am your chief stewardess for this flight. Pastor Brandon Love. The captain is Jesus himself. And I want to welcome you to Flight 2020. Your flight time is unknown. And your destination, how many stops, are determined by how well you prepare for this flight. Now, now if you're looking at me and if you're if you're able to hear me, you ought to tell Captain Jesus, thank you for allowing you to be on flight 2020. Because some folk got off on flight 2019 and wasn't able to board flight 2020. And because of that, you ought to tell God, thank you. You ought to lift up a prayer for having an opportunity to be on this flight. You may Yeah. Now, now, I'm not one of those preachers that tell you 
And they fell. 
confuse you. That scares you. The vision is always bigger than you are. The vision always stretches you. The vision always requires for you to step when you don't see the step. And sometimes you feel like you're going up the rough side of the mountain. I'm here where God wants me to be. But there's sickness in your life. I'm trying to do what he's calling me to do. I'm close to retirement and I lose my job. Somebody, you put all your eggs in one basket and you drop the basket. I thought he was the one. So I let him in and he fumbled my heart. Now I gotta start all over again. What do you do when the vision makes you afraid? The issues of life. On flight 2020, you can try to do everything right, but I want you to know you have to expect turbulence on the flight. No matter what you do, I don't care how good and how perfect you think you are, you have to expect turbulence on the flight. Uh, two, not last year, the year before last, I had to go to Alaska to preach a revival, and we're almost there. And we run into a storm. We fly into a storm. And the storm was so bad. I've never prayed so much in my life. When I it. <laughs> the plane was just dropping out of the sky. And we didn't have our seatbelts on. We would have hit our heads in the sun. And, and everybody was screaming and hollering. And, and even hear folks pray. And I'm by the window and I can see the, the wings of the plane just flexing as we're going up and down. And the pilot, he comes on the inner so calmly and says, we, we have a few minutes left and we'll be through the storm. He said, everything is going to be all right. Just, just stay, stay in your seats and keep your seatbelts on, man. And the plane is just going crazy. Everybody's still hollering every time the plane go up and fall down. It felt like it was just falling out of the sky. And there was chaos everywhere. And all of a sudden, the calm came in and we landed. And when I got off the plane and everybody's still around, everybody trying to get the bearing. And this other guy, he was there when we got to the terminal. He said, Look, what's wrong? Everybody seems mad. I began to tell him about the flight. And I, I, I didn't know at the time, but he built an engineer plane. He said, he said, he said, I know you saw the plane flexing and it, it felt and sounded like it was going to come apart. But he said, when the engineers built the plane, they built it to withstand a storm. See, somebody missed that. I know somebody he said, when the, when the engineer built the plane, it was built to withstand a storm. I want you to know this morning that when, when the maker created you, yeah, yeah, he yeah. built you to withstand the storm. But the clouds may fall, the thunder may roar, the lightning may flash, the rain may fall, the rain yeah. may fall. Thank you. 
But he can't do it. He can't. But most of the time he chooses not to. Because before you know, it's an extra packet. Oh, gracious God. As we are standing here today, there's somebody in here today saying, I want to go higher. There's somebody in here that said, I want to go greater. Because God, you promised me that I was a head and not a tail. You, you, you made some promises to me that I'm a royal priest. I'm a called out nation. God, you made some promises to me that you'll be with me to the ends of the earth. Lord, you'll always be with me. And God, I live up each and every person in here today that you've given promise to, you've given purpose to. In this season, in this new year. God, help us to walk boldly for you. Help us to let go of everything that does not glorify you. Every place, everything that comes out of our mouth, God, let it glorify you. God, we want to go higher. God, we want to feel your presence. We want that anointing, Lord God, to fall fresh upon us each and every day. When we open up our mouths, God, we are open. I love it. 